Hi, this is Tristan from heartratemonitor.co.uk and this is my short video review of the Polar A360. The A360 is Polar's first product to incorporate off the wrist heart rate sensor. The powerful LEDs on the back will pick up the heart rate through the skin and show you your heart rate. And in just a few seconds it will pick up my heart rate directly off the wrist so no need for the chest strap. If you want to you can wear a chest sensor so the Polar H7 chest belt is compatible with the Polar A360. One reason you might want to do that is to make use of the fitness tests. The fitness test has to have a heart rate belt. So if you want to see what your VO2 max score is, to see if that's improving as you train, then you will need to use the Polar H7 heart rate belt. So the A360 is a heart rate monitor. And it's also an activity tracker. In this mode, I've got the watch currently, the blue bar on the bottom, is the percentage of my daily goal that I have achieved. If we just scroll up to my day, I'll get a summary of my day there, telling me I've performed 37% of my daily goals, um, 4,300 steps, 1.4 miles, and I burnt 1,295 calories. If you exercise, you'll get a summary of that at the top here as well. And that was literally just a three minute jog around the block here, just to put an exercise in the watch give you time, duration, average heart rate, maximum heart rate and this is great time in your training zone so how long you actually spent within the five polar sport zones you can configure the zones yourself uh, they are automatically set by your age, weight and activity profile but if you want to override them you can So let's take a physical look at the watch. There's a case here which you can pop the watch out of the module out from and you can change the colour of this strap. There's various colours, blue, white, red, green I think. Uh, you'll see those on, on the Polar website or on Amazon or somewhere similar. The watch face itself, obviously it's touch sensitive. It is it seems to be some sort of scratch resistant mineral. Uh, it's, it's a good quality display. And you can see, as you can see while I'm playing with it, you can see it from all angles. It's a very bright display. As with most watches with displays like this, they put themselves to sleep after a few seconds of inactivity to save on the battery. But in typical raising the wrist gesture to look at the time should activate it. If that doesn't happen, then you can just press it. At night time this can be a little bit annoying, but that's something you can turn off. I'll show you that in a few seconds. So as you can see there's a button on the side here. I like buttons, buttons are good. If things don't work then you've always got a button. Um, but most of the features on the watch are accessed via the touch screen. So we've looked at my day, where you get a summary of what you've achieved so far and any exercises. If you tap on this, you'll also be able to see how long you've got left at various activities to achieve your daily target. This little thing at the bottom here is an inactivity stamp. This tells me that once today I've been inactive for more than an hour and a watch has alerted me to move. That will be by a vibration alert and also a visual display on the watch. So that's my day. So we know it's an activity tracker and it's a heart rate monitor. So anytime you want you can get heart rate off the wrist by just pressing this icon here. That doesn't get recorded, that's just ad hoc live real time heart rate. Fitness test we've discussed, you need the H7 polar belt to be able to do that. And this is the training modes. Training modes are picked up from your polar flow profile. I've obviously got various Polar products, an M450, a V800 and an M400. So they all share the same 
sports profiles. It is something I, I, I would like Polar to uh, be able to be assigned on a per watch basis. In this watch I don't need all of these features. So let's take a walk through exercise mode. So we'll look at running. Uh, as you can see there's a heart rate there currently. That is taking the heart rate, the blood pump through my finger, cleverly. Um, and we're going to tick on there to select running. That's my heart rate and then below that is the duration of the activity to date. There's a time of day which is always useful when you're exercising and the current calorie burn. Now these five lines are the heart rate zones one to five from polar sports zones. If I was obviously at about 120 then I'm, the middle green line would fill up as I increase my time spent in my aerobic activity zone. If I was working really hard, 160, 170, then the red, my zone 5, would start to fill up. So at the end of a session, you'll be able to see different volume of uh, time spent in each training zone. So if your goal is to spend most of your time in train zone 3, for say foot sort of uh, zone 2 and zone 3 for fat burning and aerobic improvement, then that's what you'd be aiming for. Or if you were trying to improve your performance, then you'd want to see more time spent in zone 3 and zone 4. And then we're back to the start. One nice thing on this Polar A360 is if I'm training like now say and after a few seconds the inactivity will come on and the watch will go to sleep. One thing you may have noticed then that when we were doing the training in the running there was no mention of the steps or the distance. Uh, they don't try to guesstimate your distance when you're running it's something that Polar A360 does not do. Um, strangely though that it does do it in your day summary, it does give you an estimate of the distance that you've walked. So this one's saying 1.5 miles today. But um, at the end of a exercise session, you won't, as I go here for example, you won't see that, you'll just see duration, heart rate data, time in zones. Ah. I missed that before. Calories burnt, a percentage of fat burn. So how many of those calories are coming from burning fat? So if you are on a weight loss management, weight management program, and you're just trying to just fight off uh, any weight gain, then this is a, a useful feature. Um, obviously spending more time in zone two and zone three will burn more of your calories from your fat resources. But you'll see there's no mention there of distance. Maybe it'll be something that Paula might add at another later stage. Um, the button on the side I keep pressing with my thumb. If we press and hold that, it will sync to the phone. So your um, Android phone or your iPhone running the uh, Polar Flow app would be accessed via pressing and holding this button. If you let go now, that would do the synchronization. If you press and continue to hold it, you enter this very uh, handy shortcut menu. So I can put the watch into do that again. So I can put the watch into flight mode. I can turn off do not disturb. When it's in do not disturb mode, um, a couple of things. Obviously, it won't receive some smartphone notifications, and also the gesture where it turns itself on from tipping it is turned off. So that's a good thing to do at night time. I'll just turn that back on again. You saw there was a little convenient uh, moon there as well telling you that, that was turned off. Let's just go back in there again. So airplane mode, do not disturb, turn the watch off. Bluetooth, we can turn the Bluetooth off, reset the Bluetooth if we want to. And also finally We can just get some general feet, uh, data about the watch. Okay, now um, one more thing. If you like to play the display, the actual look of the watch, if you press and hold when it's in time mode, you're given various different options. Now this one, digital display, fills up with your activity. 
This one has day date at the top and an analog watch style with a bowl at the bottom that fills up as your activity progresses. This one, again, day date and um, fills with yellow as the activity progresses. And finally, go back to my preferred one, which is this one. I like that one. I like the vertical display on this because it just seems to fit the wrist nicely. Um, wrist strap, it's not a buckle and a pin. It does have a buckle and then it's got these two locators that just pop into the strap. It's pretty secure. Um, well, I'll just have a very quick look at the app. One thing I forgot to mention is I have um, alluded to the fact that it does. Um, smartphone notifications um, so there's a Bluetooth connection to iOS devices and to Android devices um, the smartphone notifications are, are nice and clear and as you can see here we have an incoming call and also we've got a few things going on there we've got a phone call coming from my um, work phone and also we had a um, a message from uh, my Strava telling me that the run is ready so smartphone notifications are good we can just dismiss those that works well and um, Polar's app Polar's apps have come on um, a lot in the last 12 months and uh, they're very user friendly they show you exactly what you want to see without crowding things too much this is your sort of day view, uh, the different colours, the darker the colour, the more intense the activity. And then obviously there's periods when you've been asleep as well. Um, there's your total activity down there. Sort of a daily summary, steps, distance walked, calories burnt, active time, inactivity stamps. And then if I just go forward a day, um, we can look at sleep, the quality of the sleep. So I slept for eight and a half hours. 77% restful sleep, six and a half hours of restful solid sleep and one hour 57 of restless sleep. Um, if you want to look at data in more detail, we can go into training. I did a bike ride yesterday. There's a nice feature of the poll is you get a plain English summary of the training effect you will achieve from your training session and um, we have a heart rate graph we can scroll through the heart rate graph and we have our excuse me time in zones on the bottom here there's a summary you can add your own notes etc Okay, that brings me to the end of the review. Um, overall, the Polar A360 is a very competent, easy to use and stylish, motivational uh, activity tracker and heart rate monitor. And it's supported by an equally competent and easy to use Polar Flow app. So um, please um, visit the website and check the prices from our shopping partners. And thanks for watching the review. Cheers.